Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I am back with another nails video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I did these long, beautiful white French nails with gold outlines. Really simple and cute nail design. So I'm jumping right into this. I applied my tips to my client's nails. Don't mind the two different colors, okay? I got these nails these are the xxl stiletto nails from i think it's from star or ellie pink one of them but i'll leave that in the description down below So I showed you guys the acrylic that I'm going with is from Grammar Nail and I am using the nude pink color today to apply to all my nails. So as usual, I'm going in with my first bead right towards the free edge of the tip and I did apply it a little bit above where I glued the plastic tip onto her natural nail. And I'm just smoothing that down onto the nail, taking my time. I left this first clip in real time so that you guys can see how I work with my acrylic. I'm not rushing. I'm just taking my time. I'm just building that nail up. My second bead is used to create my apex. So I just went in a little bit above the first um acrylic that was laid and just smooth the edge down and then my cuticle bead it was like it's way smaller than the second bead applied it close up to the cuticle area and then i smooth that down into the rest of the nails And after applying my three bead, if I do see that I need to add more acrylic, I do go in and apply the acrylic. You guys can also see that I'm turning her nails like in different directions to the side. I hold it up sometime, I hold it down because whenever you're looking at the nail like straight on, it's difficult to see if the nail has any dents or bumps so you want to turn your nails in all direction so that you guys can see how the nail is looking if you guys can look at the pinky nail from here you can see that little flow that it has like from the cuticle area you see that apex and then it just goes down smoothly towards the free edge that is what you want to work towards so Bear this in mind if you don't learn anything from this video you need to you know take that with you guys turn the nails in all angles okay so that you can tell okay, look, look how me I twist up the little finger <laughs> but you know it's painless you just need to do that to ensure that you're like shaping the nail properly from this point Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this new pink to the rest of the nails.
once all the acrylic is laid down i'm just going to go in with my electric file always starting off at the free edge to straighten the nails up with the electric file and also pushing it under the nail to clean up any like excess acrylic then i go around the cuticle area to smooth the acrylic onto the nail and seal that in ensuring that there's no acrylic touching the skin and then i just use the electric file to like you know smooth down the body of the nail to debulk it a little bit if i see that the acrylic is like on the skin right at the edge right there i will pull the skin back and just file right there so that i can reduce any potential lifting Once I do that with the electric file on all 10 nails, I'll go in with my hand file starting at the sides and I'll hold that file straight to the nail first and just file inwards and then I'll slant it a little bit under the nail and then I will just remove any bulk from under the nail and then I'll go around the cuticle area and just go like in the C curved motion to smooth the nail out and just remove any lumps and bumps that's in the nail and then i'll just focus on the free edge and try to not make the free edge like really thick because whenever the free edge of the nail looks thick that lets the whole how do i explain it when the free edge is like really thick the whole nail will appear to be thick basically so you want to ensure that you're filing it to the point where it's as thick as a, I want to say a credit card, like your credit or your debit card. That's how thin you want that edge of the nail to be. Or you can make it a little bit thicker, but not too much. If you understand what I mean, you just want to, you know, go in and just smooth the nail as is and straighten up that nail as well at this point. Once I'm finished with my hand file, I will buff the nails and then clean her nails up and then we'll go into doing our French design. Today I'll be using the DND &D, uh, gel polish and this is called Snow White. I'll be using these two designer brush as well as that gold um, reflective glitter gel nail art polish from Studio Pro. Starting off with my fringe, I'm kind of creating like this V shape first and then I'll just go in and create a round edge between that fringe there i don't know how to explain this fringe like i'm just free handing it hopefully you guys can just follow and like catch the motion i'm just doing it round like i see frenchies that has like this egg shape i also see frenchies that has a round shape 
um i kind of like the round shape more so i always aim to get that round shape instead of that pointy egg looking shape if you know what i mean and then once i do kind of do that messy outline i just fill in the nails with the rest of the gel polish from straight from the bottle because if i was to use this strapper brush it would take me forever so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that fill in the rest with the gel polish from the bottle just to like speed up the process some more and i did go in with two coats of this gel polish I let my client cure her nails under the lamp while I work on her other hand so about two minutes of dry time for this gel polish and then I'm going in with my second coat of the snow white gel polish from DND and as I did before I outlined the nails first to ensure that it's not messy and then I go in with the rest of the polish from the bottle itself to just fill in the rest of the nails. And I use my purple cleanup brush that I got from Amazon. It was a set of three that I got off Amazon. And I just go around and clean up. Do not look at my cleanup brush, okay? I know it's wild, but it's doing its job. I need to replace it. Um, I just ordered some brushes off amazon to you know do the whole cleanup process so you guys won't be seeing that <laughs> soon like real soon okay so just yeah ignore my brush all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean off any excess that like went over line and then i'll cure that in also with this french I did not focus too too much on making the smile line like super crisp because I'll be going over with the Studio Pro Gold Reflective Glitter Polish. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my time. Is it was it my first time? I don't even know. But I did not do this style like a lot, but once I started doing it, it's like everybody wanted this type of design. On their nails and now it's easy to me but in this particular video it was kind of hard I had this video is right here it is spread up so it looks like I'm having a breeze but I had to like really focus on what I was doing because I didn't want this glitter to get on the white part too much because I realized whenever I try to clean off this glitter off the nails it leave a residue behind that is really hard to get off so i had to take my time and work with this so with this nail i'll just outline the inner smile line and then i let her cure for 120 seconds that's two minutes under my lamp and then i'll just go ahead and tuckle the nails and show you guys the reveal
so while we're here if you guys like this video please go ahead and give it a big big thumbs up also if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so also you can leave a comment down below tell me your thoughts on these nails do you think they're cute i do do you think they're cute <laughs> all right and also share this video with your friends in your family your auntie your sister okay just share this video to help me grow and yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this video and show you guys the reveal also towards the end you guys might will see me flip her hand around once the top coat is dried and then i'll just you know like remove any excess polish from the tip of her nails because that annoys me so much <laughs> so i'll just remove that after she cures her nail yeah I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you.